What's up everybody? This is Ross from Grindplay and I am back playing Alienation. Um, a game I thought I was finished with. I made a video. I got to level 30 with a hardcore character. I said that that would be the last video I'd make but I'd continue playing because I still had trophies to get. I have since platinum this game but then they come out with an update and added in two new difficulty levels. Expert and Master. So I thought why not fuck about. There is a trophy for beating a uh, level on master difficulty i already have it but i enjoy the game anyway and i'm sitting down playing it so i thought why not just turn on a microphone and just kind of go with it so just just kind of see what happens i don't i have absolutely no objective for this video whatsoever normally i go into obviously like beating the level is an objective within itself but normally i go into a video with i am going for this trophy or i want to do a b or c or talk about a certain thing i have no idea this time i'm j i'm literally just playing the game and i'm just inviting you along and we're just gonna see if i can do it in one go hopefully um yeah like master difficulty in this game is fun but i am using my saboteur character which is overpowered as ball so i'm level 197 technically which is ridiculous but it makes the game a lot of fun because at least um, there's like unlike my hardcore playthrough, I don't have to worry about death because death has, really has no consequences. For, oh Jesus! For this character, I mean the game, it's it's not it doesn't punish death in that you respawn um, at whatever respawn point you activate or from in my case I destroy them all um, and then you just go again and all the objectives you completed along your along the way. Are still completed but all the enemies respawn and I don't think it gets any harder when you respawn I have found myself dying a few times after I've respawned but I don't know if that's the game getting harder or if it's just my impatience because I've already done it and I just kind of run headlong into everything without being as cautious as I should and I get myself killed repeatedly and that's my fault not the snipers that's not the um not the game itself making like I'm getting itself harder, but yeah, it's a it's fun to play on master difficulty, especially when when you can do as much damage as as I do with this character, because I can just absolutely rinse my way through everything. Which oh god in heaven! In saying that though, the game has stepped up a notch difficulty wise, and it can still kick my ass. If it really, really wants to. Or if I'm not careful enough. Like now. Oh, I'm going to dance with the Goliath thing. He's like a fat girl at a wedding. He's spinning circles. Make him dizzy. Look, because I don't have a topic, an official topic that I want to cover today. I figured we could just talk about grind in general. While I try not to die at the hand of, of a spider. Um, my first, some of you uh, who may have watched our video since the very beginning, our very first video we uploaded on the channel was a GTA 5 video. Um, still our most watched video to date. Thank you very much for staying with us all along. And um, some of you, this might be the first time you ever, you ever come to watch us. So, like, we're just we're four friends. From Ireland, who play games together whenever we can manage. Oh God, whenever we can manage to get the time to do that. And there's been multiple occasions over the years. Oh God, fuck me, fuck me in the mouth. All right, I died. Well, that didn't go well. Talking and uh, fighting a war, single-handedly, I may add. This is one. Of, you know when you're playing like Medal of Honor or Call of Duty. And then you're in the, in a war and the commander is like, you, go do that super important objective and only you can do it. I know if he, he didn't tell you to do it, then there would be no game. But it seems a little lopsided that he would have you, have you do it, like on your own. It leads to some cool action set pieces, but it makes no sense in the, like, tactically. Now, see, now that I'm back, all the enemies are back here again, but I already have the door opened. So the objective is already complete. Which is handy. So I get to run through. I'm going to try not to die again. I forgot what I was doing. I've lost my train of thought now. 
Oh, yeah. So, we're just... Over the years, when we've been playing games, we have gotten into situations or things have happened that have made us, like, genuinely laugh. Like, break us, essentially, laughing. And, oh, God, I hate that one. And we've all thought, one moment or another, I really, really wish we had that on video, because that was amazing. And I think every gamer has had moments like that. So we decided, well, why why don't we have it on video? Because we, we all can. I mean, now they make it easy as easy as possible for you know, because the PS4 has its own, um, like its own built-in, I leveled up, capture capability, just in the console. I mean, it's limited to 15 minutes, but it's there to actually facilitate this type of thing. So we thought, you know, we, we, why not? We just, we talk an awful lot of bollocks. Go away, sir. When we're playing. But it's funny bollocks. It makes us laugh. So, I don't want to die again. And that's what we do with every single video. We just play games that we find fun and do things and say things that make us laugh. And to some degree, we have found a group of people, um, small for the moment, but growing, that find the same things funny, which is awesome. So we just try to, oh Jesus, we try to make each other laugh and we have found a kind of like, I guess a core audience in that, which is the best any YouTube channel can hope for, I guess, because, oh my God, because that way we're always doing videos that make us happy to do. As you can always tell, it comes across in a video if a YouTuber is doing gameplay that they're just doing because it's a sponsored video that they don't particularly want to do. Or it's a game they really don't enjoy but they know they have to do it because that's the hot game to play right now. And you know you're going to get views from it. Well, since we're not doing that, since we are just playing games that we really, really enjoy, we have a lot of fun when we're making videos. Which then comes across in the videos. Like the, the laughs are genuine. The shock is genuine. Like my awe when I play Uncharted 4, when I'm doing my Uncharted 4 series of Let's Plays, is genuine awe. I'm just, I'm a huge fan of that game and that series. So just playing it, you're, it's like you're sitting down on a couch with your friends, like you did back before um, online gaming was a thing. And you would have to just pass the controller back and forth and you would just talk and make fun of everything and make stupid in jokes and stuff and that's kind of what we base the channel around i just have to get out now that's kind of what we base the channel around get out of my way sirs yeah and if we can keep that going i'll take that then i think we're doing okay and i hope you enjoy it along the way just like this video I and mean, there's going to be times where we have a specific thing that we want all going to do like GTA videos will always have like we actually may do a video where we just go in and play now because that's the improvness of GTA it allows for oh my god I'm not gonna make it out of this I can go invisible the improv that you can do in GTA 5 like you, you can just be a scenario where somebody spawns in their apartment and then five minutes later you're having a chicken fight in a type just the fun that you can have in that and that's where a lot of the times where we've said, oh my god, I wish we caught that on a video. That's where we were. That's a brute. I'm just trying to get out of my chopper, dude. Seriously. Leave me alone, sir. Die. Okay. I didn't get nearly as many weapon pickups as I wanted because I died and I ruined it. But, oh well. That was it. I only died once. It wasn't too bad. That was master difficulty in alienation. Not the hardest. I just picked a random level. Turned out to be like one of the shorter levels in, in the in the game. But I had fun. We grew together. We learned a lot about each other. I'm not ready for something serious just yet. I've been hurt before. But I'd like to keep it open. The lines of communication. And I will talk to you soon. Next video probably. Or I'll, I'll text you drunkenly one night and then just tell you that I was joking afterwards. This got way too real. All right, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.